Japan has long held a reputation for producing some of the finest silk in the world. But how exactly does this luxurious fabric come into being? Behind every piece of silk is a meticulous, time-honored process, one that begins in the peaceful farmlands of rural Japan. Here, millions of tiny silkworms are raised each year by dedicated farmers, who combine ancient traditions with modern innovations to meet global demand. In this video, we'll explore the incredible life cycle of the silkworm, the importance of mulberry trees, and how Japanese farmers harvest the precious silk threads that are later transformed into beautiful fabrics. Whether you're interested in the agricultural techniques or the cultural significance of silk, this journey into the heart of Japan's sericulture industry will leave you with a deep appreciation for the artistry and effort behind every silk garment. The origins of silk production in Japan trace back over 1.300 years. Introduced from China, the craft of raising silkworms, also known as sericulture, quickly took root in Japan, where it became a cornerstone of both the economy and culture. Over centuries, silk production in Japan evolved into an art form, with farmers perfecting the balance between nurturing silkworms and producing the highest quality silk. For many years, Silk was considered a luxury reserved for the imperial family and aristocracy. The finest kimonos and ceremonial robes were made from this exquisite fabric, symbolizing wealth, power, and artistic refinement. Even today, silk remains a vital part of Japanese culture, particularly in the creation of traditional garments used in festivals and special ceremonies. But silk isn't just about fashion, its economic value has been immense. During Japan's Meiji period in the late 19th century, silk became one of the country's top exports, fueling industrial growth and helping to modernize the nation. Today, though global competition has challenged Japan's silk industry, Japanese silk still holds its place as a symbol of craftsmanship and cultural heritage. At the heart of every successful silk farm is the mulberry tree. Silkworms feed exclusively on mulberry leaves which are rich in nutrients necessary for their growth. The quality of the mulberry leaves directly affects the quality of the silk produced, making these trees an invaluable resource for sericulture. Mulberry trees are typically grown in large fields or terraced landscapes, with farmers dedicating years to cultivating these plants. Farmers take meticulous care of their trees, using sustainable farming techniques such as crop rotation and natural fertilizers to ensure the health of the soil and plants. The leaves are hand-picked to avoid damaging the trees, and every batch is carefully inspected to ensure the right size and maturity for feeding silkworms. Once harvested, these leaves are immediately fed to the silkworms. Freshness is crucial, as the leaves begin to lose their nutritional value shortly after being picked. In larger operations, some farms have incorporated technology to assist in the collection and delivery of mulberry leaves, ensuring efficiency and maintaining quality. But why mulberry? The unique chemical composition of mulberry leaves provides the exact nutrients required for the silkworms to grow rapidly and produce silk. In fact, the relationship between silkworms and mulberry trees is so specialized that without these trees, silk production as we know it would not be possible. Silkworms have a fascinating and rapid life cycle, one that requires constant attention from the farmers who raise them. The journey begins with eggs each about the size of a pinhead, which are laid by adult silk moths. These eggs are kept in carefully monitored incubation rooms where temperature and humidity are regulated to mimic natural spring conditions. Within 10 to 14 days, the eggs hatch, and the tiny larvae, just a few millimeters long, begin their voracious eating. From this moment, the farmer's work intensifies. The larvae are fed fresh mulberry leaves several times a day 
and as they grow, their appetite increases dramatically. Over the course of a month, these silkworms will increase their body weight up to 10.000 times their original size. During this period, farmers must constantly adjust the environment to ensure the optimal conditions for growth. Too much heat, cold, or humidity can severely impact the health of the silkworms, which in turn affects the quality of the silk. In many larger farms, modern climate control systems are used to monitor and regulate these conditions. Reducing the chances of disease outbreaks or stress in the silkworms. By the time the larvae are ready to spin their cocoons, they have gone through five growth stages, or instars, each marked by molting where they shed their skin. This remarkable growth phase is the foundation for the silk they will soon produce. When silkworms are fully grown, they begin one of nature's most remarkable feats, spinning their cocoons. Each silkworm produces a continuous strand of silk that can reach up to 1.5 kilometers in length. The process takes about two to three days, during which the silkworm secretes a liquid protein called fibroin, which hardens into silk upon contact with air. Inside the cocoon, the silkworm prepares for its transformation into a moth. But for farmers, this stage marks the beginning of the silk harvest. Farmers ensure that the silkworms have a safe, quiet environment for spinning. Any disturbances during this phase could result in irregular silk, reducing its value. The cocoons are left untouched for about a week to ensure the silk threads are fully formed. In some farms, traditional methods are still used to guide the silkworms in spinning uniform cocoons. While larger farms may use automated spinning trays to ensure efficiency, once the cocoons are fully formed, the harvesting process begins. Timing is critical. If the silkworms are allowed to emerge as moths, they would break the delicate silk threads, rendering the cocoon unusable for silk production. Farmers harvest the cocoons carefully, selecting only those with the finest quality. To extract the silk, the cocoons are boiled, softening the saracen, a natural glue that holds the silk fibers together. This step also ensures that the silkworm inside is killed humanely, preventing it from damaging the silk. After boiling, the long silk threads are meticulously unwound from the cocoon in a process known as reeling. This is a labor-intensive procedure, requiring great skill to maintain the integrity of the silk threads. In modern silk farms, machinery helps streamline this process. But in smaller, traditional farms, the process is often done by hand preserving the delicate balance of the fibers. As the world advances, Japan continues to preserve its rich heritage of silk production, passing it on to new generations while incorporating modern technology. With innovations in farming techniques and sustainable practices, Japan remains at the forefront of high-quality silk production. Though sericulture is no longer as dominant as it once was, it continues to thrive as a symbol of Japan's dedication to craftsmanship, tradition, and beauty.